Hello and welcome to another Let's Play video with me, Gareth Evans. We're going to play the game today called The Long Dark. This is a game I've played a little bit. It's a survival game. Um, it's a bit scary sometimes. Uh, we're going to go first. Oh, we're not going to go for a story. We're going to go for the sandbox mode. This game is an alpha, which means that that it's not complete. It's just um, an open world kind of survival game at the moment. Um, difficulty, we are a veteran at this game, so we're going to play Stalker, and which means uh, it's more punishing experience and gameplay is more realistic, which means wolves will try and kill me and bears will try and kill me, as opposed to Volgrim where nobody tries to kill you and Voyager where they kind of half-heartedly try and kill you. Stalker, they will try and rip me apart at any opportunity. We're going to be male, we're going to go random because um, I don't really know um, the second two areas too well. I do know Mystery Lake, which is the first area, pretty well. Um, this is going to be random, so I could start anywhere. And hopefully that will put me at more of a disadvantage, being as I am pretty good at this game anyway. Um, we are, we've spawned. A good thing is that the weather is clear at the moment. Um, it's not too cold. Although the cold is coming, it's minus 16 or feels like minus 16, but we're out in the open, which is bad. The weather's not too bad. It could be worse. It could be colder. It could be blizzardy. Um, so we're okay for now. We're going to try and find some shelter is the first thing that we need to do. And then try and stock up some food and some tools, useful supplies like weapons and such like. We've got a way left or right. We're heading right. We're going to see what we can find down this way. Um, I'm not sure what area this is. It doesn't ring any bells to me at the moment. Um, there's the, oh, it looks like a big lake. Mystery Lake is level number one. Um, Pleasant Valley is one. And this looks like Mystery Lake to me. Let's check around for any wolves or any other nasties that could. It is the Mystery Lake, which is kind of good good in the fact that I know this area pretty well. Um, we're going to head for this, these couple of cabins over here. You can see what we can find. Hopefully the weather stays nice. Hopefully we don't get spotted by any wild animals in the process. We're checking around the whole time to make sure that we do not get um, seen or we do not get blindsided. Um, we're going to check around these rooms before we head into the main cabin. I don't see anything. It's cold so we're going to try and look for some that's almost 50 percent my capacity of cold um so we're in the fishing cabin at the moment let's have a look our cold's going to go down the condition's pretty good look stuff look what we've got we've got clothes wise we're very poor at the moment we've got a lot of nothing to eat we've got a bed we've got some matches we've got a tinder plug and that is it uh, this place is pretty dark if i press m i can get a match um so if I open this plastic container, herbal tea will come in handy. Keeps you warm, keeps you nourished. I do need some water to be able to make it and a stove. I found a backpack. I'm going to look in the backpack see if we can find something. Nothing in the backpack. Not good news. Let's have a look around here. There's nothing around the chair. Can I crouch down? How do I crouch down? I've got that written. Never mind. Control, that's the button. Okay, press um checking these drawers no nothing in the first drawer hopefully we can find some more food um, or any food jeans that'll do that'll do for now uh, we're gonna find i need to find some warmer clothes as it is and the story of this game is that this is the canadian wilderness which is why it's um, so sparsely populated and it's so cold and we were in a plane crash and that's why we um, are in a bad shape. So we could go to sleep. We've got eight hours of daylight left. We're okay for fatigue, cold, hunger, and thirst. These are my basic element um, needs that I need to fulfill. Um, we're okay for now. I think we should continue to, um, unless there's anything else around here, I think we should continue to look for stuff. Nothing under the bed. No, I think we're we're about, we've, we've um, pillaged this house fishing her as much as we can for what it's worth and we are going to make a run for it i see an animal there on the horizon I'm not sure what that is yet 
we're going to probably stay away from it. Looks like it might be a stag or some sort of deer because it's quite tall. A wolf would be lower and it would be crouching a lot more. We're going to, yeah, it looks like a stag. I'm going to run out into the mystery lake. It's frozen, thankfully. And um, we're going to look around here. There's some more huts around there. There's another hut there. There's nothing apparent on that side of the lake. I think that in the distance there is the uh, large house that we will be heading towards later on. Usually got a lot of stuff in that house over there. And um, hopefully we can make it. We'll make it around these lake cabins first. Did I hear something? No. It's a backpack here, I'm going to check what's in the backpack. Some food, hopefully. No food, nothing. We need to get, find some wood. That's going to be handy. We found a hatchet. Amazing. That's exactly what we needed. Something sharp. In case we get attacked by some form of animal, we have something sharp to be able to fend them off with. And hopefully we can survive any sort of animal attack if that does happen. I'm going to look around here again, see if we can find anything of use. Some mittens, they're going to be handy. Uh, more drawers. This house looks very familiar. Heavy wool sweater. Wow. Just what you need when you're surrounded by... Ah, oh, fleece sweater. Amazing. This is just like it's better and better. I'm not as lucky as some other people who play this game. Wool socks. That'll do. Keep me going. I'm going to run out of matches soon, hopefully. I can find some more before that happens. Let's check around here. There's nothing around this side. Anything in this box? No. And that is all she said for this building. We're going to leave. We're going to move on. We're going to keep moving. Um, because while the weather is good, we do need to keep ourselves moving. The weather could turn at any point, which means it would be almost impossible to go outside and stay um, alive in a non-freezing like state is there anything in there can i see anything no nothing in there we found some drink stacy's grape soda we like it that'll keep us hydrated for a while another bed nothing under the bed another bed on that side nothing under either of these beds and nothing that's it that's it let's go moving on onwards and upwards let's see what else we can scavenge before the night comes when the night comes um, we do need to hunker down and take shelter. I'm going to try this last cabin and see if we can find anything else in here. A uh, bed, metal container, might be something useful in here. No, unfortunately not. No beds. Um, so that's kind of the plan at the moment. We are just scavenging as quickly as possible. We've got some more food here. Some actual foods and peaches. I think it's, is that the first bit of food that we found? Maybe, maybe not. But anyway, on we go. We're going to take stock once we get to the um, to the cabin at the end. Oh, the wind's picked up now. It's gone. Oh, doesn't appear to be any colder, although it looks windier. Maybe that's just my perception. Maybe I thought it wasn't as bad. Um, it was pretty windy at the moment. It's pretty oh, probably. The fact that I'm out here in the open on this lake is making it windier. In the trees would be less windy. I'm um, taking a good look around here. That's not an animal. That could have been an animal, but it's not. It's a piece of wood. A lone lake cabin. Well, let's hope whoever was alone in this cabin had some supplies because we're running low on food. Oh, we've run out of matches, which is the bad news. We've got no flares or torches. We've got nothing to be able to see and we were getting pretty cold by the looks of it. So we're gonna look at the clothes that we found. Fleece sweater, plus two clothing wood bombs and zero wind chill bonus. But the heavy wool sweater is what we're looking for. We're gonna wear this and stick that on instead of the thin wool sweater that we had. Um, we've now got jeans with a plus 0.7 clothing one bo bonus. Uh, not as good as the current jeans we've got on, so we're going to leave them for now. Our mittens are uh, plus 0.5, plus 0.5 on warmth and wind chill bonus. These ones that we found are 0.4 wind chill bonus, um, which is slightly less, but it's 0.7 clothing warp bonus, which is 0.2 more. 
So I think we're netting a plus one overall by putting these on, which makes sense. Um, and the socks that we've got on are already warmer than the ones that we found. All the other ones in our adventure at the very least. Um, so currently um, we can't see a thing. We're going to scavenge as much as we can out of these drawers or anything that we can find. Hopefully we find some matches so we can shed some light on this situation again. If not, found some nice shoes that'll do 99% condition. Uh, let's have a look around here. That's the container there. Can't quite see that. Hopefully um, there's something. There's nothing. Uh, I can't see anything now. I'm just scrabbling in the dark. There's the door. There's a bed around here. Anything on the side of the bed? No, no matches, completely out of matches, nothing else to make any sort of light, which is no good. Um, so the other things that it could get to make light, which, be a, which would be a lantern, oh, I'm completely lost now, here we go. A lantern would be good, because uh, a lantern stays alight for a long time, and you, uh, you just need fuel to put in that. The other thing is a flare, and flares are good to warn off uh, walls if you get attacked by a what? Uh... Yeah, if you ever get attacked by a wolf, a flare is good to kind of wave in their faces. But the temperature has gone up a little. Um, from minus 16 to feels like minus 4, which is great. Unfortunately, uh, the... Um, there looks like fog. What looks like fog has descended. So I can't see very far, which is very dangerous. I'm going to head in this direction because I know this is kind of the direction to go that I'm looking to go so that's where I'm going I found a fishing hut hopefully we found some matches or a flare or something useful to ward off some um, animals uh, no flare in the bottom in the top drawer even no flare in the bottom drawer we found some cloth nothing in this box we did find some water amazing that will do just nicely um, hopefully we're heading in the right direction now. That mound is to the right of where we want to be. So we're heading this way. If there's any wolves, if I spot any wolves at this point, I'm in big trouble. I will be too close to them to be able to run away. Another fishing hut here. Let's keep checking. Nothing around. Oh, I spotted some food. Amazing. Brilliant. Candy bar, that'll be nicely. We'll read the newspaper, we'll take that with us in case we need to catch up on any daily events. Matches, 20 matches. I will make better use of these. I will not waste them like I did last time. What we've got here? A pry bar, that'd be useful. Some pork and beans, some more food. And the fog has lifted, amazing. This is amazing. Now let's have a quick look. We can see a deer that way. Um, we don't see, it doesn't look like there's anything else. Which is good. We're going to make a run for it then. Across this lake. Keep checking either way. There's another cabin there we haven't been to, I think. That's the cabin we haven't been to yet. But we're heading this way because... Oh, this way is where we're going. We're heading for that building right there. But there, I have spotted a wolf. There is a wolf there. Um, do we risk trying to get to that cabin? With that wolf in between us. It, I'm glad now that the fog has lifted. Which, because I probably would have walked straight into that wolf if the fog was still here. Oh, listen to the music. Oh, we're getting some dramatic music now, which they probably know what dire situation we're in. I found some more food, which is amazing. Gonna keep going, some newsprint. We're probably gonna have to sneak past that. Um, so how long we've got six hours of daylight left, and we're pretty cold. We're gonna try not to sneak past this we'll go this way we'll go right and we'll sneak around to the right hopefully this guy doesn't see us if he does we're in desperate trouble where's he going yes. okay let's try and go up this into these trees it looks a bit steep i'm probably not going to make it up these trees but we're heading away and around this wolf uh we're not going to make it up there let's crouch don't have anything in my inventory, no torches, no weapons, nothing. If this guy sees me, I'm in trouble. Let's turn back. Is that good? Is that bad? If he'd carried on walking, maybe we could have blindsided him. Um, we are behind him again. So let's 
go up here. If you see this, we're in some trouble. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Can't go anywhere up this hill. I'm just about on the edge of this hill. Uh oh, I'm not going to be able to go up anymore. Yes, I went straight through that tree, which was handy. Didn't have to go down anymore. I think we've got past him. Uh oh, I can't get past this tree. I have to go down there. Uh oh, uh oh. <sighs> Didn't hear me, thankfully. Okay, down. You haven't seen me yet. Go, 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 go. It's getting dark now. And the snow's coming, but we made it past the, the wolf. <sighs> Phew. That would have been. Uh oh. You see that wolf in the left? A wolf just scarpered. A wolf just scarpered when he saw me. Hopefully, he wasn't running from a bear and he just saw my, my big, mu huge muscles and thought, no, nope, I'm not picking a fight with him. That's probably what it was. He saw me and got totally scared and legged it. So, we've got ourselves a lantern which is going to be very useful. If we, it's going to save us some matches in the long run. We'll get this lantern on, and then that's better. We can see a lot of around us now, a huge area. We'll check all these drawers and scavenge and take stock. Um, we're going to have to go hunting again at some point, but I think we're going to be here for the night now. Find some more matches, brilliant. We found a magnifying glass, that's amazing. Um, We've got a stove here to cook some food or a jerry can full of fuel. That'll help us keep our lantern alight. Use pink roll, that will come in handy. A tin opener there to open our tins of food that we found. Beef jerky, it's always good to see a bit of beef jerky. Uh, I think we found another drink here. It's not a soup, that'll do. Nice. And that's it downstairs, let's head upstairs. See what we can find. Oh, oh dear, somebody has died in this house. I'm sorry to have to search your corpse, sir. I'm sorry we can't find somewhere to bury you, but unfortunately, let's look at this guy. Rest in peace, sir, rest in peace. Uh, can I get his backpack? No. Um, <laughs> I, I, I sound so genuine when I said rest in peace, and then I searched his backpack. I'm sure he doesn't need them anymore. I'm sure he'd be happy for me to take his stuff. Because uh, he doesn't need them anymore, let's be honest. Oh, we've got another found another bedroll. We're finding bits and bobs here and there, but nothing that's amazing. We're not finding any guns. I want to find a gun. Scrap metal, that's good. Newsprint, brilliant. Um, but uh, it's not ideal. So we could at this point, there's five hours of daylight left, our stats aren't too bad, hungry, thirsty, a little bit fatigued. We're probably going to keep going. We could sit down and um, rest. But we're going to head to this stove uh, first, actually. And I'm going to go back and extinguish my, save a bit of juice. Open the stove and start a fire. Okay, so we're going to do this. Start a quick fire, cook some food, and then we're going to head out again. Um, hopefully the weather isn't too bad. We're going to feed the fire with some cedar. A nice bit of fuel on that fire. We're going to melt some snow. Because uh, to do that, we will be making some water so we can consume. That will quench our thirst. So one of our basic requirements to stay alive in this game is drinking water. Um, but once you boil the water, you uh, melt the snow, sorry, you do need to boil the water to eradicate any nasty disease or anything like that, that or bugs or things that are in the water. So now if we check our equipment, we should have 1.5 kilograms of water. We've just made one litre of water. The other half a litre came from one of the fishing cabins. We have got a lot of food at the moment. I think we're probably going to cook some sardines. Let's take a drink first. Actually, I'm going to drink... Stacy's grape soda. Sorry, Stacy. We probably don't need this anymore. We're going to drink you. Um, let's have a look at our first. Our first gone down a little bit. We do need another drink. We're going to keep hold of the bottled water and drink the soda. Only because bottled water can be used for other things like making stew and herbal tea and that type of thing. It sounds like it's gone windy outside. And 
This up here says about question mark hours of daylight left, which means when you go outside, you won't be able to tell how many hours of daylight left because there's a storm or it's too snowy or something. And that sound of the wind that's just picked up kind of backs up that theory. Going out now would probably be the mistake. So it looks like we might have to stay here for the night, um, which is okay, it's fine. We've got, we've got some food. Um, we're gonna cook some pork and beans. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the can opener. Hopefully our fire doesn't go out in the meantime. And we're gonna eat our food. Probably head upstairs to bed and get some rest. And then we will be in a good place to go out hunting at another time. Food, we should have some warm pork and beans, hot and opened, that's what we need. Eat it all up, plus 600 calories, looks great. 2,500 calories is the mark we're looking for. We've quenched our thirst and our hunger. Um, cold is looking pretty good, I don't know what this means here. And our fatigue, we're getting slightly fatigued. There was around five hours of daylight left um, a few minutes ago, probably down to four or three now. And so um, we could go out in this storm, which is probably not a good idea. Let's have a look outside. Let's just sniff the air and check. Um, yeah, it's not a great idea. It's getting dark. It's stormy. I think we're, our options are limited at this point. This game looks beautiful now, actually. The way that they keep improving this game is brilliant. This game is only in um, pre-release. It's an alpha stage. Um, but they do offer it on Steam for people who uh, want to help test the game and things like that. So I purchased this on pre-release. I'm quite happy with the game as it is at the moment. Um, there is no story mode, which they are introducing later down the line, but the great part about the thing of this game is they're always introducing um, improvements. So it keeps you um, it keeps you entertained, let's put it that way. So we're going to have a bit of a sleep now. We've had six hours sleep and we're going to check. We shouldn't sleep for too long because what happens is your thirst and your hunger goes up and if it goes to full your condition can start dropping so i'm going to drink some food some water probably should have taken this can first actually never mind we're down to zero thirst and we're in the dark there we go let's get back into bed and that's a bit of a drink to keep us going six hours darkness left and we've decided to sleep for another six hours it's like there's another storm at the moment Question mark hours of darkness left. So we've currently survived 16 hours and 44 minutes, which isn't too bad. It's stormy outside again because we can't tell how many hours of darkness left. Uh, we're going to sleep for another couple of hours. Hopefully the storm goes, which it has. Brilliant. 15 hours of daylight left, which means it's morning and it means there's no storm. It means it should be light when we wake up. Yes. Uh, we are thirsty again. We're going to drink the soda this time. Uh, did we just drop that? I think I just dropped that. Didn't hear me. Didn't hear my There it is. Whoops. Misclick there. Gareth misclicks. Let's take that back and drink it. And then we can look like ahead and outside. Now, this is probably a good place to end this episode. Um, since if I let this episode go longer than 25 minutes, sometimes I have a problem with the recording. Um, in the next episode, we're gonna head out this front door and see what else we can find. We're gonna go scavenging again for some more food. We're gonna try and find a weapon of some sort. If you did enjoy this first video in this series, click a thumbs up. I might extend this and make some more videos on this game, depending on how much you enjoyed it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. Until then, bye for now.